Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm ET69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at light tanks. So we had a look at the heavies a few days ago, how to play heavies, uh, know your role. Today we are going to know how to play light tanks, how you should play the light tanks. Now the light tanks are a little bit different to medium tanks. Now a lot of them are not supposed to have uh, really good armor, they're supposed to be just no arm. Um, they're supposed to be paper, um, but the but the Vickers actually is is got very very strong turret. So how should you be playing light tanks? Now me personally, I like playing it, and I think you should be be playing it sneaky. It should be a sneaky tank. It shouldn't be up close personal uh, YOLO. It should be a sneaky tank. And what I mean by that is use that mobility. I mean use that mobility to get up in places very very quickly to spot the team and then get the hell out of there and what i mean is go and spot early go and spot early because the earlier you spot the team the the quicker that you know um what the enemy are doing so you can relocate and then you've got time to to, uh, to make a choice what you want to be now a lot of the light tanks have actually got good shell velocity and good accuracy and you can actually play them from distance and we're going to show you a couple of games where we're going to do just that we're watching me in the the vickers this one we've got my my good friend in the vickers next one and we've got a bat chat to uh, to end it um so being sneaky is is what you need to do be a bully Bully these enemy team and just don't be in in sight. Just don't be in sight. Don't be at the front. Be at the either at the back or at the side. Get around, flank, and that is what you need to do in in light tanks. Flank around. Use that mobility. Sorry, T54. I didn't actually mean to block you there, and uh, you did get shot in return. So I, I do apologise, T54, if you are watching. Uh, I I'm so sorry. So yeah, like we're doing here, like. You, you can use that mobility to get around the map. Now, this motion's actually going to get a pretty nice shot on me there. And you can reset your camo. You can use the view range of this thing, the camo values uh, and all that to, to really bully the enemy team where they think you're coming one way and all of a sudden you're at the other side of the map. And you can just rush tanks like this, uh, get behind and then just run along and that's how i love playing uh, light tanks just shoot run shoot run and we're actually going to win this game and that is actually thanks to this afk jaeguru because he's now taken he's afk and he's taken the attention of two tanks who was really really greedy uh, because they wanted the afk so we was just farming these two tanks whilst they are farming my afk and and in the end it's actually going to cost them the game because they should have uh focused on tanks especially this late on when they're winning on supremacy points they should have just focused on the tanks that all are all around so we get rid of the is7 and again we know that the motion of, was around this area and this late on this is where you need to save your hit points get up and close to this uh, the enemy what's left and especially if there's only one tank left and then you can start again using that mobility it's all about mobility in uh in light tanks and there's nothing absolutely nothing this motion can do well, well he could actually reverse up against the wall which will help him a little bit um and that for me personally is is why i love playing light tanks because one minute you're in one place capping a base do as if you're playing it in supremacy go cap a base as soon as possible spot the team and then get out of there relocate come in from a different angle and if you have to snipe then snipe we're going to watch i mean I, i'm very proud of that ace 16 over 1600 uh, xp and the vickers in tier 10 is so hard to ace at the minute and i've done that like two days ago so now again we're going to watch the vickers again and we're going to show you just a bit of a different uh, gameplay and we are watching my good friend snoopy now this is what I mean. He's going to get up very, very early. He's spotted the team, and now he knows that with two mediums going right, he knows that most of the enemy will be on that right side. And to be honest, he probably shouldn't have shot that object 140. If he wouldn't have shot him, he might not have been uh, been spotted. Um, but now 
he's going to farm. He's absolutely going to farm. But that's because he spotted early. The team went early. He knows where they are. And he's now in a good position to, to farm some damage. So he's not going to move. There is no reason for him to move. He, he could move. He could actually flank around into the enemy spawn. But at the minute, he's going to get some shots off. And this is what I mean about being a sniper. You can actually be a sniper in this tank and i'm not sitting i'm not saying sit there at the back and just farm damage but these kind of situations there is no reason there is absolutely no reason for him to move anywhere he might as well look at how many tanks are around that area and he's still farming damage two point sorry 2.1k uh damage at the minute um He's always trying to look for that shot. He's going to go for the HE into the Leopard PTA. And because that E100 is there, he is going to get spotted. But he is going to be able to back up and he's going to get a nice high roll there into that E100. So he's now on 3k damage. He's farmed 3k damage. Hasn't really taken many hit points, which is what I always suggest, especially in a light tank. Don't trade shots early off. Do not trade shots. Try and save your hit points because most of the time, if you're the last one left, you're going to need them hit points. And with the mobility you've got, if you're able to take a couple of shots towards the end, then they are game changing de uh, decisions. Um, because you can just, if you're up against two heavy tanks on your own and you can take, say, two sh or three shots, then the outcome is, is going to be different. You can use the mobility to get around the map, um, come in at a different angle, spot them before you are spotted, and then again, you can shoot, do some damage, relocate again, reset your camo, and then come in, and it really does, it, they are annoying. You're supposed to be annoying in, in, a, in a light tank. Take Castilla, for example. How many times have people got frustrated where you've gone to the heavy side, none of your team have gone to the medium side, you go up the hill and you're just getting farmed from these medium and light tanks from that Castilla. It's so frustrating uh, and annoying. And that is how, that's what you've got to be in, in a light tank. You've got to be annoying. Uh, far, you're fast, you've got a good rate of fire, you've got good DPM, good view range. And you can just get out of danger really, really quickly. And Snoopy and Nilo Shark, both clan mates of mine, they, they're actually going to... I mean, Snoopy's on 4.7k damage. He's going to clear the E100 there to bring it down to a 2 versus 3. Now, he's going to go for the pattern. He knows the pattern's a one-shot. There's no point in him trading shots with the Object 140. He might as well clear the tanks, and he knows he can clear the pattern. So he's going to do exactly that for his second kill. And now he's just going to use this hill. Again, use the mobility of the thing and just get around this hill and try and stop getting, uh, not get shot from this Object 140. The Object 140 does have better DPM, so it's not really a tank that you want to trade uh, hit points with, unless there is two tanks on one. So I do love this, that Nilo did ignore the IS-7 and come to help Snoopy to deal with the Object 140, because now it is two tanks, two medium tanks against one heavy, and it's it's a, or one, med one medium tank and one light tank against the against one one heavy so it should be a nice easy win for these two so snoopy 6k damage now again this is how troll this light tank is bounces he's, he's bounced 810 hit points and uh nilo is going to come in and um, for the kill which which is a shame because uh snoopy needed that kill he hasn't aced the tank yet he gets 6.4k damage and it was only a first class but look he gets that camper medal he gets the camper medal which is nothing to be ashamed of because he had shots next up we're going to watch the kind of the same thing uh and we're going to watch the one and only his rural fatness and who is amazing if you need to learn how to play certain tanks, certain tank types, then he's, he's your man. So what he's going to do is, instead of going left, instead of going right, he's in a light tank. So he's going to go straight down the middle, and he's going to try and spot the team very, very early on, because there's only one medium tank on the enemy team. So they could go right, or they could go left. And straight away, he has spotted that Death Star. And he's in a bush, he's not getting spotted, so he can just farm these guys whilst keeping them spotted. Now he does back up, because he thought he was going to be spotted but he actually wasn't spotted and now i mean look what he's doing he knows that the team are to the left so he's going to go to the right and he's going to try and get some uh, shots from distance uh, and of course because you're a light tank you can get these shots from distance and you can still remain unspotted which is why light tanks are 
are not bad at sniping because you can just farm these guys and look he's not getting spotted at all uh, misses that shot there but he is going to get that shot there on the amx 5120 he's going to reload his clip and again he's 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 out of there he's relocating so by the time he's reloaded he should be in a position to get some more damage and look how far he is away look how far he is away from the from the actual game he's He's the other side of the map, and yet he's still farming damage. Now, he's going to rush this FV4005. Of course, you need to rush a tank like that, and uh, they get rid of him really, really quickly. So, Fatness is now on 2.3k damage. And what he's doing here, he's not going forward. He's not going back until he knows that his camo is reset, so the team don't know what way he's going. Um, unfortunately, he was spotted there, um, but he does manage to clear the Death Star for his first kill. 2.4k damage. He's still got two shells left which i thought he uh, was going to reload uh, but he doesn't he is going to miss that shot there in the amex 5120 but he's going to get that third shot and he's now reloading again and whilst he's on that reloading he's using the 65 kilometers an hour speed uh, and just getting there to the battle uh, behind the enemy tanks really really quickly look by the time he's reloaded he does take a shot there from the amx um but he's now in a great position to just to farm him and take him out of the game so 3.5k damage with four tanks left alive and again while he's on that reload he is going to get closer to the enemy so hopefully he should have reset his camo by now and again he can just farm these guys uh one shot there into the waffle he does get spotted but no one at the moment is looking at him so he can just do some damage it is three against three and this is what i mean about saving your hit points fatness has saved pretty much all of his hit points and he's gonna again he's gonna use the mobility to get out of there reset his camo and come in from a different uh, different angle so hopefully the enemy team won't know if they if he's gone left if he's gone right or if he's just coming back the way he come from uh, which normally tanks don't do if they if they run away they don't usually come back from to, to the way they they actually come from but fatness did and he is now spotted the stb hopefully he can get this shot in clearing him uh for his fourth kill just leaving now two tanks left alive 4.8k damage and because it's now two heavy tanks he should be able to use the speed of the thing uh and just farm these guys while they try and farm the heavies he's just going to sit there track the t57 heavy Ho hopefully he could actually go for some uh, HE here, but he's not going to risk it. And he's just now going to, again, use his clip and get the hell out of there. Now, because it's late on in the game, it is a, a three versus two. Um, his rebel there is going to get taken out. He, there's no reason for him to run so far away. He's going to stay pretty close, but far enough away from them to be able to shoot him. And you can see he's trying to reset his camo. He's trying to reset his camo and then come in. Uh, and hopefully he should get the behind of these heavy tanks. Now, he's going to ignore the IS-4 for now because his team uh, VK is going for the T-57 as well. And of course, you need to focus fire. You have to focus fire. If you focus fire, I mean, it's two guns on one. It's two guns on one. With the VK being a one shot as well and the IS-4 being quite OP, he's not taking any chances at all. Now, he is reloaded, but again, just because he's reloaded, it doesn't mean that you have to go out and take some uh, shots. And he's going to wait for the IS-4 to turn around the corner. Of course, the IS-4 is doing the right thing in going for the VK. The VK is a one shot, uh, but unfortunately for the IS-4, he, uh, he doesn't even manage to, to clear this guy. And Fatness just manages to release his whole clip and now he can just sit behind this guy. There's nothing the IS-4 can do. Even if he takes out the VK now, there is going to be nothing he can do. So Fatness is just about to reload. He gets one shot. He gets two shots. And he's actually going to miss a shot. Uh, and the VK is going to take him out. So, Which is unfortunate because he could have got six kills. Uh, but he's got to live with five kills just before he reloads he gets taken out so 8100 damage and that's done by sniping using the mobility of the tank getting around the map as soon as possible as quick as you possible and spotting really really early on that is vital to spot really early on so you know what the enemy are doing hope you enjoyed it guys i'm midzy 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye